Okay, thanks, Julie. And uh, <clears throat> we're talking about quality management here, and, and uh, the whole meeting is about career development. So, what's the connection? And, and obviously, uh, quality management is about uh, building up your reputation. And, and so, uh, it's value building, and uh, that's quite key for your career development. But obviously, it's also key for, for the uh, unit that you're working in. Uh, so, uh, uh, my task here is really to highlight this report. That is a report uh, coming out from the Global Bioengineering Project. Uh, and there were a number of participants here. So, uh, I will show you the location of, of the report just shortly. Uh, uh, so, Julie pointed out the brain trust which was hard at work here in Singapore the day before yesterday and uh, at a wonderful dumpling place and you can notice that there are no beers, no wine, <laughs> only uh, drinks promoting sharpness and, and physiological <laughs> functionality. After the picture. <laughs> um, so this is uh, the webpage of uh, uh, Global Biomaging. And you can see there at the right, there is a documents gallery, and you will find the report there. And so uh, my intention is not to go through the report, but just give you a few highlights of, of the report. And uh, please read it and give feedback to our small working group. And we can also discuss, if you have already read it, uh, uh, the contents uh, this afternoon. <coughs> Uh, just to, to highlight a little bit what's in the report, uh, it's uh, intended to cover the basic aspects of uh, quality management. Uh, so the quality assurance aspect, uh, the quality management systems. Uh, the idea was also to benchmark against uh, famous places in the world. Jan already mentioned that Australia has been a forerunner in this respect. And, and so we had a board uh, partners that were really knowledgeable in this respect. Then uh, what is the impact of uh, quality management, uh, general <coughs> principles, uh, different levels of quality management, and then uh, to assemble international recommendations. Now, uh, with quality management, uh, you have a few key aims. So, First of all, to organize and standard, standardize the whole range of services. So that's, that's one idea. Uh, then obviously instruments uh, that they are working. We heard already uh, in uh, David's presentation about uh, ways to document that the instruments actually were working and, and to have that in the that met, the metadata. Uh, but that's a critical aspect. Uh, then uh, what I think most of us uh, are doing, we did surveys also during the project and it appeared that in most places you have quality control in terms of user satisfaction. Now, uh, in funding agencies all over the world, well, the, the reproducibility of data is becoming more and more emphasized. Uh, so there's a major incentive to show that, that the data that's produced at your unit, that it's really uh, has undergone this kind of critical assessment. Okay, so well, then uh, we have separate session and uh, separate, separate working groups on, on the data aspect of, of uh, quality. Uh, now, there is also an, one aspect that is maybe overlooked uh, every once in a while, that is your system. And, and you could apply that even to your uh, daily duties. Uh, is your system really well managed? So <clears throat> quality control of uh, your time management, is this uh, efficient? Ensure that the knowledge and the tradition is not lost. Uh, focusing on uh, what are the deliveries, uh, then capture the good things uh, in your system. That's not easy 
if let's say uh, there would be a rapid transition and and uh, everybody would be recruited to some wonderful company and all uh, manager and all the technicians go at once how would you capture the good things uh, contain a stru structure for continuous improvement that is one aspect um, now all this will provide a competitive advantage um, and then obviously if you have a standardized quality management uh, this uh, ensures the cap capability of, of your services. Now, um, uh, when it comes to quality assurance standards, there are a number of them, and this, the first one uh, was uh, developed at University of Monash, uh, and that uh, actually in the Sydney meeting last year, there were a number of um, institutions and centers that we're indicating that they're actually going to uh, adopt uh, that standard. So you could have a look on this. Uh, we will not dwell on that at this time. Uh, then <coughs> quality assurance, uh, which is obviously important, uh, contains a number of levels. So first of all, preventive measures, measures, routine maintenance, uh, quality control of, of system performance, uh, an annual maintenance contract. All of this is, is part of quality assurance. Now, uh, in order to have a safe operation of your center, uh, there are a number of things that you should pay attention to, to and, and we have that in the recommendation, recommendations of that paper. Uh, preventive measures, training of users, development of core facilities, staff skills, and so forth. I will not go through all of this. This is all in the report. Uh, but then we have routine maintenance, uh, which is uh, obviously something that everybody is paying attention to. Uh, then quantitative quality control of the system uh, and also of, of the uh, uh, deliveries. Now there is one aspect, interesting, an annual quantitative maintenance contracts. Uh, we had uh, this survey uh, on the Sydney meeting, and uh, then we were asking uh, whether in the service contracts it's included that there should be some kind of report uh, from the service. What was the outcome? And the uh, numbers were depressingly low. Uh, so actually, in the service contracts, uh, it seems worldwide, at least in this community, uh, that it's quite often that, that there is no report back. Um, and so that's something we could uh, we could uh, discuss in the afternoon. Uh, it's actually the procurement process uh, that is uh, something that. Uh, I think academic institutions are not so good with. In a company, the procurement process would be much, much tougher. Uh, I'm sure the vendors can, uh, can also comment this in the afternoon if they want. Now, a uh, critical decision to be made. Um, how far are you going to go with the compliance of all kinds of standards and recommendations? And you need to kind of titrate this pretty carefully because otherwise it becomes costly but if you don't go far enough then it's no good either uh, so uh, it has to comply with the needs the resources uh, with the mission and the strategy of, of your home university uh, in the report uh, there are a number of uh, recommendations uh, so these are just the titles of the recommendations. Uh, and so check them out. Uh, we can discuss them also in the afternoon. Um, and uh, last slide, I think. Well, uh, deep value creation. I mean, that's what our job is all about. That we show that we are valuable. Uh, and there are a number of topics 
related to this. If we have good uh, quality control, if we have good systems that can show that the uh, stuff we're producing that is excellent, it has uh, impact on, on value creation, obviously. And here listed just uh, a number of, of these outcomes in that respect. Uh, this afternoon session, uh, we could discuss not limited to these topics, uh, maintenance and service of equipment, procurement processes. I would like to discuss that with anybody who is interested. Uh, systems quality, uh, managing of your system. Uh, then the obvious collection of risk and response of user feedback, data management, value building. But then KPIs, uh, key performance indicators, those are emphasized a lot by different funding agencies. The European Commission is, is discussing this very actively. How well do they really reflect the performance of the machines? We have a number of KPIs. The idea is that our instrument should produce reproducible, excellent data that can be used for decades and future generations. So that's the idea. But how well do the KPIs that uh, different agencies and so forth require from us, how well do they reflect that. So those would be the topics. I think I'll stop here to give Liam some time. Thanks.